Hello and welcome to the Carthago showroom in Aulendorf in southern Germany. This is a Carthago E-Line I-51 QBDA. So it's got a queen bed in the back. It's almost eight meters in length, 791 centimeters, and it will cost 171,000 euros. 227 centimeters in width, 305 in height. Empty weight, 3,530. So if you put in a 4.8 ton basis, that will give a stack of payload, 1,270 kilos. And uh, even on a 4.5, it'll still give you um, almost a ton. So uh, that gives you some information about the vehicle. Now, there you see it's on a tag axle. It can also come on a single axle. Uh, it can also come on a Mercedes. It can come under on a Iveco if it's called an S Plus. And as I get into the van, close the door behind me and marvel at how nice a motorhome looks without a bed up front, how much space it gives. And on the subject of space, let's go to the back of here and see this double bed. So it's a double bed, as you'd expect, you've got storage, you've got um, on uh, wardrobes on either side, and you've got storage up here. Now, because I like to find something wrong with things, I don't like this at all. In my opinion, that's a complete waste of time. And it's my every bit of space that you can use for storage should be used for storage. So if I open this thing here, which is not that easy to open, to be honest. It's got a thing in there. I've got to press this thing in. So we've got quite a lot in there, a lot of space in there. It is profiled. So that uh, it comes up further here than here and in here this one here we've got a wardrobe which comes out isn't that nice isn't that convenient and isn't that easy to do this thing pulls it out here see that so you're going in and out like that that's a pretty good idea in my opinion in there you've got a little cubby hole and a usb above it which might be handy for charging your phone next to your bed and also whilst you're in bed you can watch the television on that door up there and that shall be the next subject of what I'm going to talk about because this door here comes across it's got this uh, looks a bit like a railway junction but this thing here will slide across you can see it sliding across there. This is going to slide across and it pulls the whole thing with it like that. And it comes across in this manner. Now up here there's a roller, at least it seems to be rolling anyway, and that then gives you your television up there. So let's go go to the back of the bed again. I admire the television up there. Is that a bit close? What about if you want to sort of nip into the kitchen to get some beer out the fridge? Well, you just push that back like that and then you can nip round here. Fortunately, there's a nice duck board on the shower and that allows you to get in. What if you want to close this off here? Because you don't want the riffraff from, well, there's no riffraff up front because there's only one bed, but you might want to close this and this closes up like that and then you can close the whole thing in that manner. There we go. If you want to play hide and seek, it's got this facility. Now, if you're thinking of a long-term use of the van, like 25 years and this money you would be, I can see that thing getting broken quite easily. Having said that, Cartago has been putting this in its vans now for two years, so it must be still working. Shower's pretty large, as you can tell. As you would expect in a vehicle of this size. And here, by closing this now, I shall make this into a sort of a private area. There's me in the shower. You see how much space there is in here? Stack of space in the shower. So that's uh, quite good. A toilet is a toilet. And it's uh, relatively standard. Molded sink, 
uh, storage you've got these mirrors with a uh, possibility of keeping some stuff behind them except in this case where you can't and here as well there you go and so quite good hey do you want to look in here what's under this that's where you keep your dirty clothes you see there's a dirty clothes basket and uh mind you what do you get i've i use big shopping bags but the not not the plastic ones these uh, new type things are the reusable ones for my clothes this here should you desire this will open this will close there and that's the way you keep somebody uh, uh, out of the toilet when you're when they're in the shower something like that anyways that's, that's your privacy privacy door there you may think that there's a lot of doors in here and indeed there are mind you if you've got getting off a couple of hundred thousand euros for a van then you probably mightn't want everybody coming in and seeing what you're up to that all goes back like that you don't say that again so it comes across there you go Right, now you will notice that uh, this doesn't have a completely flat floor because it's flat until we get to here and there's this step. I mean, it does have some rather nice lighting under it. Indeed, there's nice lighting all over the place, indirect lighting. But, uh, right, so in the double floor, we will find storage. And uh, storage uh, it's a, is the the best part of it is this one here there you go you've got a deep storage in there and we can see that from the outside other things which are found in the double floor include the uh, the water tanks and other parts of technical infrastructure for the vehicle for example if i open that you've got the fresh water tank and what could be down here this is the black water tank so if you want to nip out of bed at night and find out how much water is in your grey water tank it's not black water grey water tank then you can do so kitchen got this very nice uh rounded shape here as well and um, this is quite good this these things come out i think that is a very nice piece of kit i don't like these things but uh so that all comes up and look how close it goes but it doesn't touch no soft clothes anyway um so and this here if you want now let's try and open this doesn't open central locking good eh here we find the bins we should find the bins uh, the bins are <laughs> this won't come out any further why, why is this coming out any further this clearly doesn't want to come out any further but the bins are actually in this but for some reason this isn't i'm gonna push it anyway uh, the bins are in there. Uh, three burners, which you can use. Two, or one, or all three. Uh, larger sink, domestic type tap. Here we've got, there is the Cartago coffee solution. It's one of these Nespresso things, and that sort of drops down and uh, i think the best place for that would be to drop down into the rubbish bin but that's just my opinion uh up front look at all this masses of space you've got here you've got this wonderful big window and it it looks if you turn the, that seat round as well it wouldn't even look like a vehicle there is so much space in here so uh another thing i'll come right down here show you the driving part of it 
here we have down there they see there's a reversing camera they've got wind mirrors like in a bus although now we know that these mirrors uh, do put your fuel consumption up and so we're, we're probably looking going to want to have cameras in instead they can see on this uh, fiat um automatic gearbox with this black and brownish color and notice how the sideboard continues down here and in this sideboard also there's a stack of space for storage and there's a big television as well from Alphatronics. now uh let's uh, open this a lot of space in there oops i won't open two together <laughs> also got quite a lot of space now actually considering uh, where it is I wonder what's behind here I hope I don't find out later that that space there has been wasted let's check in here again well whatever's behind there I don't know what it is and also I can't see the point of this either I mean what's that meant are we supposed to do with that uh, what's about this here that's your television decoder. Um, pretty nice. And let's just turn this around now. Sit down in this wonderful favourite seat of my own. Sit in the driver's seat. This door there, that's, that's a new thing. They've introduced the 2022 season. Uh, double locked. It also locks uh, central locking. Not only with the driver's door, but all the flaps as well it's held on by three reinforced hinges it can open by rfid uh it's got a function that sort of turns the light on before you get to it and uh, i think that's with the rfid and it leaves the led outer light on uh until you sort of a certain amount of distance away or a certain amount of time on the subject of led the headlights are also led uh on this vehicle right okay uh, didn't mention the fridge. I mean, all of motorhomes have fridges. There you go, a domestic fridge which opens both ways. And then, there we have the freezer, and up there is the oven. There we go, and it's got a bit of plastic in here, which is it's got a baking tray. I don't think that's so much an oven as a sort of a big toaster, really. Right, here's a feature I like. Uh, yeah, I'll go. Pull out pantry. Very useful. And all right, so you can keep an eye on your, your electronics, how much water you've got, uh, you know, battery, whatever. And let's open the door. And the door opens by itself. It's all got a bit of um drag as you close it you can feel right so let's come out because i noticed people want to get in and so in there 450 kilos of weight you've got an outdoor shower which might be handy for the dog okay this thing here in my opinion should be obligatory now in just about all motorhomes you need uh, i think people have electric bikes i've noticed how many people here in germany have electric bikes there's also 12 volt uh, sockets inside in the kitchen and in other places uh, that's an inverter the other electric stuff is kept in here the charge and what have you and uh, here we can see the depth of the double floor so uh, it's it's the whole vehicle sort of raised if you like and uh, this is the floor and the point of a double floor okay it's uh, not to give storage it, 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 the, the difference in temperature is absolutely enormous in winter uh, also uh, it, when they got the the water tanks and things like that it sort of lowers the uh, center of gravity as well so there's lots of positive things about it. Yeah, I'll show you another one. This is the Chic E line with a German layout in the back, 805 by 
227 by 310, uh, empty weight 3740, and Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Alco uh, DA414 CDI um, frame, and uh, this thing here costs 179,000 euros. Now it's a bit difficult to compare the front, as this one comes with the bed. So that looks a bit different, but here, in this case, the coffee machine has been hidden, which is the best place for it. No, actually it's not the best place for it, it's in the skip. Uh, here, this looks well, more or less the same, not quite, but more or less. And in the back, we have a German layout. And up here, we have the television. So instead of having that slidey thing that's in the other one, you have the television which comes out. And storage, roughly the same. Very clever here. This comes out like that. And this comes out a bit as well. And then you sort of walk up, you've got a cushion to go in there, the part of the mattress. And then you walk up and into bed via these steps. Very, very good way of doing things. Anyway, so I'll put this back because what I wanted to demonstrate also, look, there's the bit of the mattress which is missing, it's just down there. And uh, very large. Um, wardrobe although it could benefit from a light in here moment just no no light and the same on this side deep uh really good that is now um let's have a look in here it's very similar And we'll close that there. We've got this. Step here, the same. And so, very similar vehicle. But doesn't it look better with the, uh, without that bed? Right, so this one is an S+. Plus. The difference between an E-Line and an S+, plus is that the S+, plus is on the Iveco. Um, but they're very similar. Well, here's a big difference. 221,000. 6,700 kilos. Gross vehicle weight. 4,290 empty. 860 long. So it has actually grown from the other one. And where could it possibly have grown? Well, the answer is in the washroom. This looks the same. That looks the same as the last one. But look at this enormous washroom in here. Very attractive. Close it here. Well, it would close if the door were. Uh, I'll pull this down. There we go, there's that, and here we've got television, and the television, this, this thing, uh, so it's sort of over the door, pull this thing here out, this closes, and on the other side, Look at all that space in there, in here. Here, I'll, put, I'll turn it around. And if you're here, we have a wardrobe. Here, we have the toilet. Here, don't look at me, I'll turn it around. Actually, I think I prefer the toilet as it was in the other one. It hasn't got a basin in here. I do like a toilet with a basin. 
we got to walk all the way here. Really nice. And, uh, you know, I think it's only 227 centimeters in width on the outside. And push this back. Pretty nice, huh? But here is the one Cartago now considers to be its flagship at well over a quarter of a million. In fact, it's 237,000 euros. This is the liner for two. Comes in two sizes, but this is the big one. 6,700 kilos. This is empty weight, 4,240. So you've got a huge amount of payload. And that's the um, base price. Ah, what I didn't say, was the water capacity 210 litres and 170 of wastewater. Isn't this magnificent? Absolutely brilliant. Wonderful. I know I'll never own one, I'll never have the money to own one. But um, I don't think I could drive it to quite honest either. I know it's only 227 centimetres, it's only 7 centimetres longer than van I've got at present. It just, it seems to be a lot bigger. You can see this in a separate video. And here's a, here's a feature which is really good. This thing here comes out. Let's show, so let me show it to you like that. See, it just moves out. And you've got this lounger. And you can lounge on this and watch the television. Isn't that great? So, sit down here. And here, I'll put this on me again. And now, um, there we go. I can lounge here with my feet up. I haven't got my feet currently on the, because uh, I don't want to take my shoes off. But um, this has to, nobody else has done one of these lounges in any vehicles that I'm aware of. And, you know, this is super, uh, Super idea, super comfortable, really wonderful. Uh, liner for two. Oh, uh, this. Oh, yeah, I think this is the one for me actually. You know, I'll turn this back around. So, right, uh, so there's the fridge. You can sit here and look at the fridge. Television pops up up there if you want to watch the television. Or you can just sort of look out the window. Mind you, the window is a bit far away, so you're not going to get a particularly good look at it. Isn't this fantastic? I mean, I just, I know I keep repeating myself on that one, but I really like this. So, I think this is the one I'd take. Yeah, and, and, and once more, it's got a huge amount of storage in the double floor. So you can see that going back. I do like to show everything if I can. There you go. And the bed comes down electronically as well here, uh, which I won't demonstrate now because I have to put the chairs down. And putting the chairs down, I can't do it with one hand. I need to. So we need a second person to come around with me. So, 
There you go, top of the range and go, there you go. So this one here uh, in the, it is a line for two, two sizes. It also comes on the uh, Mercedes or the Fiat. I have a tag axle or not a tag axle. So that's E-Line S Plus as seen here. And uh, so I hope you found that of interest. Like the film, the video. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you didn't, please give it a like anyway. But you've actually sat with it with me for more than 25 minutes. Thanks for watching and all the best from Germany.